So in the 15th uh, <coughs> picture in plumbing industry, what we see is commonly, this can be seen in residential or in commercial areas. This is a dishwasher. It's not actually a picture, I can say, as equipment, but again, not only limited to the pictures, I said the chapter number one name as the plumbing pictures and appliances. So I can say this is an appliances. Yes or no? I can say this is an appliance or machine or equipment. So this is an, this is an uh, dishwasher. Okay, all you need to do is just you need to arrange it in a systematical order, like way to place what kind of utensils when they are used for the cleaning purpose, we need to load and this only demands hot water for the cleaning of the utensils, isn't it? We'll be seeing how it works and all this, but as of now, we are just learning what kind of water to be supplied so that we do the calculation and we design the main pipe size. And just again, some people have not attended yesterday for them. We all, being in plumbing engineers over here, we are here to design only the main pipe sizing because we know that the rest of the pipes which has been connected to the fixtures is predefined as per any kind of code. If you go with IPC or UPC, whatever the code, we have already seen that. I hope you guys remember, I have shown you, I have shown you two things. First of all, I showed you the your GPM, I mean the Q, and I have shown you the pressure for individual, what the fixture, and I have shown you as what the branch or the uh, uh, pipe, which is connected directly to the fixture. So we are here only to find out the main pipe sizes, not the pipes, which is connecting to this fixture. Hmm. Are you guys following? So this is, ah, uh, yes, yes, you are right. Right. So we, yes, sir, you are you are right, sir. Yeah. So this is a picture. Oh, sorry, this is an equipment, and this is what dishwasher. So all you need to do is load this, and needs to be done. It will do its job. Okay, and then anyone can make use of this again. Reuse. I mean, you can say this. Okay. So this uh, works only and only on hot water basis because of cleaning the utensils. Okay. How it will work? The working principle, inshallah, in the next chapter, chapter number mm. two. Just elaborating it. Next, let's go on. Yes, is someone saying something? Bahad or some? No. No, no, sir. I didn't say anything. Okay. Thank you. So now this is one more again kind of uh, I can say equipment or I can say an appliance. This is washing machine. So not washing machine. Why we have put it over here is because this also demands water for the what cleaning purpose of the like uh, laundry. Okay. So this I can say as a laundry point. Because if you see this, again, we are responsible to leave a point near the laundry area. Yes or no? And that would be connected to the washing machine. I hope you guys are following. I'm just showing this. To, I'm trying to link that. That is called as number of things like laundry point or it's called as washing machine hookup. Yes or no? Online. So with that is point is again responsible yes, to connect yes, it yes. to the machine. Because we know that nowadays we are getting this automatic machine, not semi-automatic. So that's what. We'll be leaving one point over there. So that's the reason we have included one washing machine over here. Because just because we are responsible to serve or give a limited amount or the certain amount of the water to this machine to work in a proper, efficient manner. Okay. Next is electrical water heater. Again, this is also an appliance. But again, uh, this is something uh, which gives up the heated water. So again, we need to find out because again, it needs to be supplied with a certain amount of water. How and what would be the quantity of the water and all this we'll be seeing at the time of heater sizing and selection right now. No, just trying to show you that what are the things what we are seeing over here right now. There's nothing but the plumbing picture and appliances. So we are responsible to serve the water or give the water to work them in an proper manner and we know this this might demand different different the amount of water and different different criterias of water like this demands only hot or this demands cold plus hot like example if i say wc demands only cold and host for wc only cold but if i say at the same time in the same wet area if there is a shower that demands cold plus hot yes or no online but cold plus hot like this so why we are learning this or why we are seeing this pictures and appliances because we need to know when we are dealing with any kind of project, we need to know that what kind of project we are dealing with, first of all, and we need to know this picture demands what amount of water or what, what kind of water, I mean the appliance, like cold or hot, so that we take into the consideration and we do the pipe sizing and then selection. Now, this is very important point. Note, WC urinal and hose bib requires only cold water, whereas dishwasher demands hot water, as well as I can say electrical water also demands hot water. We can include this comma. Okay, next chapter number two. Now chapter number two, everyone. Chapter number two is again very easy. And uh, this is chapter number two is nothing with the plumbing equipment, I can say. Now we were just talking about a plumbing equipment. What is a plumbing equipment? Equipment, I can say as a machine. Can I say that? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, sir. Which, which makes human work as a 
uh, easy or convenience right so here what are the main equipments in the plumbing we know this first of all we need tanks okay i can say the storage tank it's not exactly equipment but still it's part i can say sand filters in one equipment i can say booster pump i can say transfer pump yes or no these are all equipments in the plumbing industry and there are multiple things like solar water electrical heaters electrical water heaters unit water heaters boiler yes or no all are what the equipments what we commonly see in the plumbing industry okay so now let's see one by one, one by one first of all let's begin with the type of the pumps so as we are in the construction industry everyone so there are mostly we use this what centrifugal or reciprocating what kind of pumps we do have centrifugal right centrifugal centrifugal so what are the pumps what we are about to see over here these are all centrifugal pumps so very common and very first pump what we are about to read or what we are see is nothing but a transfer pump now what exactly is a transfer pump in short i'll say you transfer pump can be any kind of pump okay the main purpose of a transfer pump is to pump water from one place to another or i can say from one tank to another in short from one place to another yes or no that is what a transfer pump it's transferring some fluid from one place to another okay the same thing so transfer pump is a pump which you can use to transfer the fluids from one place to another place and i said you what is a fluid fluid might be a liquid or a gases yes or no which can be easily movable when in force yes. not the solids okay i've given you some examples also like example water is a fluid and uh, i said in the gaseous state that is nitrogen again is a what fluid it can be again moved nitrogen yes or no next is what a booster pump now booster pump only is this don't see the complete this is actually a set of the booster pump now this is a booster pump now what exactly is a booster pump anyone has any idea booster pump is a pump which is just used in the project or within the project just to boost up the system the name itself is saying this is boosting something but what is the main just to increase sorry just just to increase the pressure like uh, to obtain the related pressure in higher no just to maintain the pressure we can say for example i'll say you very simple thing we have a confusion over here because why do we need a booster pump i'll say you for example let's take an example everyone assume that we are having uh, six floors of the building okay and uh, i'm getting the water pressure from the municipal like uh, 20 psi from the water main from the municipal so but i required to reach the water till my sixth floor and uh, from the municipal i am getting a water at a head of three floors and there are no uh, water supply or so much of pressure from the municipal to go and serve on the fourth fifth and sixth okay so what i am going to do because in that also i am having fixtures again that fixtures will be requiring certain amount of pressure and certain amount of what q flow yes or no so both the things so here whenever a booster pump is connected but before that i'll say you in short first of all just understand this a booster pump is a pump which can be used or which will be used just to maintain the pressure maintain the pressure means what the pressure is required now let's come back to this in this we are having two categories one is main booster and second is hydro booster what you said i'll come back to that first of all see what is a main booster just now we have seen what is a booster pump just to maintain the pressure i said maintain the pressure in the sense what pressure is been required they need to get so that the fixture will be working in a adequate or a proper manner it can give us the maximum efficiency isn't it or the server can be the service can be served in a proper manner now what is the main difference between a main booster and a hydro booster i said you in this video of two classification a main booster is something which you see on the ground level or in the basement level the main concern over here if i say you the transfer pump system and if i say you the booster pump system transfer pump is nowhere connected to the fixtures but whereas if i talk about the booster pump system or a main booster the main booster located always at the ground level or the basement level okay now this booster set is directly connected to the fixtures for example if there is fifth floor like sixth floor just now i said you anyone is calling for any fixture for ex any one example calling for a shower on third floor or second floor they are calling for a laboratory what happens this booster pump gets on directly and pumps up the water to that respective fixture with the required pressure and the required flow getting my point online yes online yes, calling sir. sir can you please sir can you please tell me again sir can you please tell again what is the difference between main booster pump and hydro booster no, what is no, the I difference i have not done with the hydro let me come back again everyone i'll try to be so what is main booster first of all let's see what is exactly a booster pump now booster pump is a pump which is been used 
to maintain the pressure in line now not in line exactly i can say just to maintain the pressure now maintaining the pressure means it makes sense what pressure or what kind of pressure or how much pressure we have seen that number of fixtures as per ipc code that all the fixtures have a different different pressure requirement with a different different flow agree with me why yeah, is yeah. that certified or why is that uh, the values has been given so that it can be working on the best and the service can be served in a best manner that means it can serve in the best manner if it get the best i mean the certain values what's been given if it get that much of discharge for example if i am saying if i'm having like two to three floors of the building and on the pressure right now available from the municipal is not so high till three floors is okay but about what about the fourth fifth and sixth for sure i need to have is what a booster set okay or else i need to have or any kind of pump because till third floor only the water can be going directly from the municipal example only okay if you're getting confused let's make it one floor so i'm getting like that much of pressure from the municipal line okay that means 10 psi for example and that is easily available for the first floor and that is more than enough to serve all the fixtures for the first floor fixtures but there is more five floors than what i need to do i have no option i need some external pressure to be created and that is being done by pumps any kind of pump right yes or no so what i'll be doing, what will be doing will be having a booster pump connected to this line so what happens whenever any kind of fixture is been on or is calling for the water the pumps get on and it pumps up the water to that respective fixture which is calling for the water and it will give the required a sufficient amount of pressure and flow so that it can work in a proper manner and the it can be served in a best the major difference between transfer pump system and a booster pump system always remember transfer pump is nowhere connected to the fixtures it is connected in between two tanks like underground tank or ground level tank or the roof tank so only this two tanks transfer pump is a pump which is just serving the water I means from suction from the basement or from the ground level or from underground tank or overground tank it might be a sump or overground that is cupped on the ground level or below the ground suction from the water in that reservoir and pumping up the water to the roof area in which i am having is one what a tank that is a roof tank okay that's it from that tank the water comes and by means of gravity it comes down it serves the pictures okay second thing here booster pump system or a booster pump is something it's to maintain the pressure i said you that means this much psi is been required for this fixture so it will be getting that much of psi calling online yes, once again so let me read it out you people can understand pumping directly from all from the series main to all the building fixtures where the available pressure is not sufficient to reach to the floors that's what i said you that means directly connected to the fixture always remember booster directly connected to the fixture any fixture is calling for water pump will get on and pumps up the water to that respective fixture okay so this is a booster pump and how to identify a booster pump booster pump always with a pressure, pressure vessel yes pressure tank pressure vessel anything expect okay this is a pressure tank next i said you second option hydro booster now hydro booster is something which is kept at the top floor i mean on the roof and this is again responsible for the top 3 floors for example 6 floors i just said the water cannot be reached to 6 floors only 3 floors so top 3 floors i can serve with this booster pump okay but for this booster pump at the hydro that means at the top level i need to what i need to do i need to have one reservoir at the top i mean a tank from that tank this pump should be connected top 3 floors will be served by this that means top 3 floors all the fixtures is responsible to get the water from this booster pump again this is directly connected to the fixtures always remember either it's a main booster or a hydro booster booster is always connected to the fixtures directly okay but the major difference is what main booster at the ground level and directly connected to the fixtures hydro booster at the rooftop okay and connected to the top 3 floors that's it okay but below main booster for the complete project you can say this calling everyone yes sir yes sir so this is the major difference between these boosters always remember okay so this is a booster pump again it's a centrifugal pump One